In the previous video, I showed you how to do select fields. If we go back to our custom field group for select fields, we should be able to add a new field and the new field will be a checkbox. So it's a bit different. It kind of works the same way as a select field, but it's displayed slightly differently. So let's do choose a flavor. And we will then do the choices exactly like we did with the select field. So we can do um, tomato, barbecue, chili. So I'm obviously doing sauces <laughs> and uh, we can do a default uh, default if we want. So we'll make a barbecue and let's click on update. We'll then go to our page and have a look what comes up. As you can see, barbecue is ticked and you have the option to do tomato or chili. And then if we go into our template and let's just receive it. So we'll do flavors equals get underscore field, choose your flavor. I believe that's the ID for it. I'll just confirm that. I'll choose a flavor. Okay, and we could do a bar dump of that. If we look at the page, it should just be a string. Very, very similar to how the select field works. So if you do PHP echo flavors, it's not going to work because it is an array, as you can see there. So what we need to do, I'll just do some breaks here. We can do the implode thing again, so implode flavors and that is wrong let me just see what I've done there yep so okay so we can refresh it now and we should have barbecue there and if we go and choose tomato and chili to, as well it should all come up but you'll notice that it's showing the actual value and not the label. So like the select field, you can go down and you can make it return the label instead or the array. And when you do that, you need to definitely update the page. View the page again. You should see now the labels are coming up instead. But one really cool feature about the, uh, the checkbox functionality is the ability to add new options inside the admin page. So if you make it so that you allow custom and you, uh, what that will do is we'll just update it and then go to the page again. It will mean that someone could easily add a different choice. So let's just put in, you know, um, ranch and then update. If we go to view the page, ranch will be there. So that's really, really handy. But another feature that it has is that you can actually make it save the actual value to the database so that next time, if you use that field on a different page, uh, it will show the ranch as well. So let's, let's update that. Just have a look here and you'll notice that we've still got tomato, barbecue and chili as the main options, okay? And if we go back to this page and then we view the page, oh, sorry, we edit the page and we untick ranch update ranch will go away because it, it was a custom choice but if i add ranch again now and click on update and then we go back to our field group should see that ranch is now there but ranch doesn't have a value so that's a bit it's a bit of a funny one it only has the label but then if we refresh and we untick ranch and then click on update, ranch will be available next time as well. So that is pretty much how it works with checkboxes. One last thing you can do is you can do an extra checkbox which will toggle all choices. So you can just hit yes, click on update, and then if you go and refresh the page, there will be an option there 
Uh, okay, yep, there we go, at the top, which will allow you to select all or none at the same time. So that might come in handy as well. So as you can see, they've thought about absolutely everything when it comes to customizing your screen.